Hello there, it's Carrie Rhodes here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am playing with some new stencils from Trinity Stamps and their new cut and foil plates. And in that process, I discovered my new favorite cardstock for hot foiling. So I did a bunch of hot foiling on these four cards today. So we're gonna jump in, first taking a look at the Lemon and Leaves stencil set. This has four main stencils as well as all the masks for every lemon in this nine by six stencil set. So you can see me popping them out here. I'm gonna save all of these in a little bag and keep it with my stencil set. So when I want a mask, I can just pull those out and use them. So here's the lemon stencil and two leaf stencils and the branches. Now these stencils have etching on them. So when you want to do the next stencil, you just line those etched lines up with what you already stenciled and you're gonna have perfect placement for layering this up to create a multicolored background. So here I've done the lemons in fresh lemon ink from Altenew, and I'm gonna leave the stencil on while I bring in maple yellow. I wanted to really give this background some dimension. It's gonna be the focal point of my card, so I want to add a darker like shadow on that left hand side. To accent that shadow even more, I'm bringing in an even darker yellow color, Honey Drizzle, and that is going to make these appear more lifelike, more rounded, and have some dimension to them. So check it out. Aren't they yummy? So bright and so cheery, and I love that added color on the side to make it really pop. Okay, I have the first of the two leaf stencils, I mean, they're not really labeled as to which one's the first. It's just the first one I'm using. And this one with, I would say it has more leaves on it that are smaller, is the stencil that you wanna use if you're gonna do lemons, leaves, and branches. So I'm gonna fill that in with olive ink. I also wanted to give these leaves some dimension. So once the olive ink is in place, I'm bringing in a darker ink. This is forest ink. And I'm just gonna try to add spots of the darker color, leaving in some of the light color for dimension. And that brings me to another point. I don't really stencil the leaves perfectly. So even with one color, I can get some dark and some light. And that would be fine if you don't have two really good coordinating colors of green. So there we have it. Now here you could bring in the branch stencil, but I am bringing in the other leaf stencil. And I'm gonna stencil right over the top of my lemons. If you wanted these leaves here, but wanted them to appear more behind the lemons, um, you could, you really can't do that. I mean, I was gonna say you could use the masks, but most of these leaves are on top of the lemons. And I wanted that look. I wanted it to appear to appear really leafy, and like you were looking into a lemon tree. So there I did bamboo ink, and for my darker color, I did parrot ink. So now I'm bringing in the branch stencil, and I'm just lining that up with the leaves I already did, which is what I have done every stencil I've added. There was something to line it up with, and that made it really easy so that once I did these branches, they're gonna line up with the leaves perfectly. It's really easy to do, and I love that the stencils have etching in them now. It just, it makes stenciling, like, it just took it up a notch, right? Makes it so much more fun. So there you can see this yummy, delicious, beautiful background. This is one of those things when I take off the stencil, I feel like, oh my gosh, I made that and it's so beautiful. Okay, here I have a brand new die set that's pretty exciting. It's an A2, no, A7 layering die set. So the largest die in this set is five by seven. So now you have these layering stencils to make your five by seven cards. And maybe there's something out there like that, but what is not out there like that is the etched edge that this puts into your paper once you die cut it. So once I figured out what section of this print I wanted the most, I die cut that out. And now I'm gonna show you that etched line all the way around. Look at that. It really adds like a touch of elegance to your card. I love it. All right, this is the new Wildflower die set. Look at all the flowers and little botanicals and leaves in there. I love it. I used this small flower. I think I die cut out seven or eight of them, and I'm gonna use those as blooms for my tree branches. But first I wanted to add a little splatter because splatters everything. 
I love it. I use some black silk on there, just a little bit. I'm gonna set that aside to dry and bring in this new Thanks Cut and Foil set. Now this paper I'm using right here is the softest, smoothest paper I've ever felt. It's Heffy Doodle White Cardstock. And I thought, I'm gonna try this out for hot foiling. And when I did, I was like, oh, this is the paper. This is the paper. Now, if you've hot foiled before, you probably know that hot foiling a bold image or sentiment is tricky. It doesn't want to have good coverage very often. And that can depend on so many things, but one of the things that can make it a lot easier is to use a thick, smooth cardstock. And so I decided I'm gonna give this cardstock a go and it is magical. It, it's like a game changer. So here I just put that foil, uh, so the foil side was facing up, put the plate down on it, taped it in place. I'm putting down a shim, which is what I also like to use when doing bold sentiments. Put my plates on top, press the timer. The timer takes about a minute. Once that's done, I'm gonna run it through my die machine and back. I'm going very, very slowly and holding those plates in place. And then let's take a look at the results. Use my little magnet tool. I'm worried what's going to be under here, and it's perfection. Well, okay, I got some overfoiling, but that happens, and it's just an opportunity for me to show you that you don't have to worry about that. You just take a little sanding eraser and you erase that away, and it's like it was never there. I mean, be careful not to go over your already foiled part, but yeah, it, this was magical. There's also two dies in this set. You can cut this out with this lovely border, or you can even use the thanks die to die cut this out, or you can use the thanks die by itself to layer on top of the shadow. It's awesome. Great set. So now I have three die cuts to layer behind this to make it thicker, and then I'll have a little raised up sentiment like um, we all love. Don't you love that with your sentiment raised up? I love it. Okay, so there it is, ready to go. Perfect. I'm gonna stick that on so it's about center with just a tiny bit of that S hanging off the right-hand side. I just love that look. And now I'll add in those cute little white blooms and I'm gonna put them, you know, where they would seem to normally appear like on a branch. And um, I thought they were just like a little subtle added touch. And I always say, Love is in the details, and I feel like this is one of those details that really adds to it. But if you want to make it a little bit more special, I'm going to show you what special is. <laughs> this is the Andesine Aura Embellishment Mix. These are like soft, beautiful pink gems with an iridescent finish that bring my heart so much joy. There's a rainbow of these gems with like amazing gemstone like names i'm going to link them all for you below so you can um just check out all the amazing colors and see for yourself which ones you can't live without because i can't live without any of them <laughs> they're so gorgeous okay so now i'm bringing back that layering a7 die set i'm die cutting out the largest rectangle this time so i can mount my panel onto this and i'm going to have that double edged line. It's going to be great. But I didn't want to waste all that paper in the center. So I brought in one of the rectangles that was smaller than my background so that I could have that paper to use later. I didn't waste it by covering it up. So the one thing to remember when doing this is not to put any glue in the center of your background until you're ready to glue it to your card. <laughs> Ask me how I know. <laughs> All right, so I've glued that down to my A7 card. So it's a five by seven card base. So 10 by seven scored at five inches. This is the Supporting Sentiments stamp set. I'm gonna be a crazy person and stamp this when my card's all finished. I kind of forgot to do it earlier. I had it in my mind, I wanted to add it. So let's do the scary thing together and stamp this down with VersaFine Onyx Black Ink right onto the card making sure I get really good coverage. And it was fine, yay. I love it when it works out. So it says, thanks so very much. Those supporting sentiments go great with dyes like this. 
um, the Big Bold Sentiments stamp set that just came out. Okay, so now we're moving on <clears throat> to some mini slimline cards. This is the part where I'm going to do just the leaves and the branches. I'm leaving out the lemons as much as I love them, but this, having this stencil set up so that you can use it with just the leaves and the branches is so clever. I mean, you really could use it with just the leaves. It is a way that makes this set a lot more versatile. So you could use this for fall, spring, summer, winter even with some fun blues maybe. I think it's a really cool die set. I'm so impressed with it. So I did do the dimension on these leaves with the multiple colors and then on the branches I'm using milk chocolate ink. It was dark enough and thin enough. I didn't add any dimension to that, but you could, you totally could. You could also use some um, paste with this stencil. That would be super fun. So there it is, just with the two leaf stencils and the branches. So now I have another brand new layering die set. This is the Stitched Mini Slimline layering set. And the largest one is six inches by three inches. The littlest one is like just over a fourth of an inch wide, perfect for sentiments which I'm gonna do on this card. I'm splattering these as well. And then I'm cutting my hot foil again with my quick trimmer. This is from Spellbinders. I can cut all three pieces that I need for all three of my cards, just like that. And I have a nice straight edge. If you've ever tried to cut foil with scissors, you know it can get a little scraggly. We don't like that. Okay, so I have my Heffy Doodle white cardstock, my foil pretty side up, my plate is down, I'm taping it in place. I am going to let my machine heat up. Once it's hot, I will put that face down, add my shim, my plates, press the timer. When the timer's done, I'm gonna run it through my die machine, forward and back. Now you wanna play with your machine. Maybe you don't need a shim with yours. Maybe you don't need to run it forward and back. Just play with it and see what works best for your setup. Okay, so I'm gonna remove that foil and again, perfectly foiled. You see, I didn't get the overfoiling this time and that it just happens sometimes and you get a little bump in the road or something and you get that excess foil. So now I am going to cut out a frame for these. So it's going to have a double stitched edge. And I decided why waste the paper in the center of this one, even if it's small. I can use that black paper on something else because I am getting low on black paper and I've tried to order it a couple different places and it's been sold out. Is everyone out of black? Not now, must just be me. All right, so now I am stamping out some more supporting sentiments, three different ones than I used on the first card. So a lot of choices in that supporting sentiment stamp set. I'm stamping them with VersaFine, no, VersaMark ink and adding white powder and embossing those so they'll pop right off my card. Then I'm taking the second to the smallest rectangle die from this stitched set to die cut out all of them. So I've used this die set four ways for these cards. Pretty cool. So I'm gonna glue those backgrounds down to their frames, remembering not to put glue in the center, and then I'm gonna put these all together. Now I have three different cards, so I thought I would try to maybe use three different layouts on these. So I'm doing that. And you can see the different sentiments I've chose there. I have for all you do from all of us. And the third one says, just a note to say thanks. And you can see you can use this with so many dies that you already have or stamps that you already have, these supporting sentiments. I love it. All right, so those are going to go on to a white card base. I love this mini slimline die set because I like to have the edge of my card base showing on a lot of my cards. And that has so many different size choices. There are 12, by the way, in that set. So I can have the border of my card show and still have that stitched edge. I'm a big fan of that. So those are my four cards for today. I love all of these things, these layering dies that have come out for the fun size cards, the cut and foil sets, and that stencil. It is delish. So I'm going to have all the things linked for you below so you can check them out since they're brand new at Trinity Stamps. And I will be back again very soon with another video just for you. So if you're new here, feel free to subscribe because I do have new videos all the time. Thank you so much for watching and happy stamping. Bye.